this is what my first full fluid meal is going to consist of this morning. We have our 100% whole grain oats by Quaker and silk soy milk. I was thinking on using full milk, but I'm lactose intolerant as it is, and I've just wanted something that's going to be easy on my stomach. So this is how much we're going to be using. One third cup of the oats. Those are the stats for that. And here are the stats for the milk. I used two thirds of one cup of this silk milk. It's unsweetened soy. So that is what I'm having for breakfast. Here is what it looks like. I made it extra watery. I'm kind of worried on how this is going to go down. It looks like a very large amount compared to what I'm used to. Um, but yeah, here's my trusty little baby spoon. <laughs> so let's go see how well I can tolerate this. Good morning again, everybody. So this is my very first full fluid meal. I don't think you can really see it. No, I'm going to pour it on my desk. Okay, well, it's oatmeal. Just plain oatmeal. I went shopping last night for my groceries for these next few weeks. And I was trying to find some brown sugar stevia. I couldn't find any anywhere. Is that even available in Canada? I would assume that it would be. Um, anyways, I'm taking this plain this morning, my oatmeal, so I've never had soy milk in my life, so I have no idea what this is going to taste like. I hope it's not repulsive, but whatever the case is, I, I've got to try to get it down. So here goes nothing. Let's start out very small first. I don't really know how I'm going to eat all of this. This is huge compared to the meals I've been eating so far. Mm. It feels so weird to chew again. I'm making sure to chew it really good because I remember just on my first meal of full liquid or clear liquids it gave me trouble and this you know being oatmeal it's hearty so I can only imagine well it doesn't taste too bad even without the sugar I would prefer it with sugar of course but Let's go in for a second bite here. I added more extra like hot water to it to make it soupier because it was way too thick for my liking for my very first meal. I was really scared that it was not going to go down. It's not bad. I don't think I could ever drink soy milk alone though. I really, I don't even drink normal cow's milk alone. And I cannot stand skim milk. That makes me gag. <laughs> so, I was thinking on getting almond milk, but then I just researched and realized that there's like not much protein at all in almond milk. So. I googled, you know, what's the best high protein milk that I could possibly buy and it said that soy milk is comparable to cow's milk protein wise so I went with the soy. We usually have 2% here. 
a little baby spoon. <laughs> mm. It actually tastes really good for having like actual meal. I don't even think it really needs sugar, but of course it probably would go down a lot easier if it did have sugar. I need a better setup than this. Um, okay. Mm. Even though it's very liquidy, I still want to make sure to chew it, like, as they said, the consistency of applesauce. It's got to be smooth as silk. No pun intended. <laughs> Get it? Silk? Soy milk? Mm -hmm. I'm hilarious. Not really. Anyways. <laughs> well, so far so good. I'm not going to bore you all and just record my entire meal. I just wanted to show you what I was having for my very first semi-solid food. <laughs> um, I'll probably show you my other meals for the rest of the day later on. Just so you can get an idea of what I'm eating here on my very first day of full fluids. I promise the videos aren't going to be an hour long anymore. <laughs> Again, it was just that very first video because it was my, the full journey to catch up, catch everybody up to date on where I'm at at this point. So, one more bite and then I'll say goodbye for now until lunch. Mmm. Yeah, that's really good. It doesn't taste bad. I don't even know what soy milk tastes like on its own, so mixed with the oatmeal, it's not bad at all. I'll be using the milk to make my pudding, to make my cream soups, so who knows may taste completely different for each of them. I don't know what to expect, but Whatever the case may be, I'm still going to get it down one way or another because this, I've got to get used to doing things that make me uncomfortable and things that I don't like, so. Alright, well, I'm going to say bye for now and finish my breakfast. It's probably going to take me four hours to eat this, maybe five, who knows. <laughs> um, and I'll talk to you later. Alright, bye. So this is going to be my lunch for today. I got the no salt added cream of sugar or cream of chicken soup. If you look at the stats here, I will be having half of a cup of soup with half a cup of milk, um, soy milk. So this is going to be my lunch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it together. And then I'm going to blend it really smooth because I want to make sure it's a, a good soft consistency for my very first time. So anyways, this is going to be my lunch. Yum. So here is my finished product, my lunch. I blended it up and it became really thick and frothy. Um, again, it's no salt added cream of chicken soup. It's not as good as the regular one, of course, because, hey, let's get real here. Salt gives everything some pizzazz, but I'm already retaining a lot of water, so I can't afford to retain any more. But, yeah, let's take a taste. 
use nothing. Hmm. It's not very good. It's just too bland for my liking. I definitely would love to have some salt in it. But I'm going to push through it. There's no chunks of chicken or nothing in it. Everything's blended really smooth. Um, again, this is made with organic soy milk, unsweetened. I'll get used to the taste, I'm sure. But, um, the oatmeal went down pretty good. It did take me an hour to eat, but, um, it, it actually tasted pretty good. I had no issues with it whatsoever. I finished the whole bowl, um, which seemed like a lot, and this bowl here seems like a lot too, but I guess my stomach is getting used to it. I'm just taking my time. The only problem is I can't seem to find a time where I can actually drink because I'm constantly eating. That part is hard to get used to. <laughs> but I guess I'll be getting in a lot of my water through the night, like after all of my meals are finished. I don't know. I just hope I don't get dehydrated. That's one thing I'm worried about right now is getting in my water. Because right now I have not been able to at all. So... We'll see as the day progresses. Again, this is all new to me, so I'm just going to take it one step at a time, not rush anything, and hopefully all goes well. But so far, my second meal is going down pretty decently so far. I'll probably update you later after supper sometime on how it all went down. the blandest soup I've ever had in my life. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Here's my snack so far. It's the Oikos Greek yogurt. It's the triple zero. Uh, that's what it looks like. It looks very creamy and delicious. Let's take a look at the stats. No sweeteners, no preservatives, no fat, and 25% less sugar. Alright, here is the health stats on it. 70 calories, 5 cholesterol, 25 sodium, 8 protein, and 7 grams of sugar. That's not too bad. This is my snack. One of my snacks for today, anyways. <laughs> Alright. Well, hello again, everybody. Um, it is now supper time, so this is what I'll be having for dinner tonight. I am having homestyle vegetable soup by Campbell's. I tried to look for a low sodium or no salt added soup in vegetable format, but I could not find any whatsoever. So this was like the best stats I was able to find for a vegetable soup. I'm, as I said, I'm lit literally following the food bible religiously. And they said to mix the soup with milk. So I'm using my unsweetened soy milk. And also for dessert with my dinner, they said to have some chocolate pudding. Again, I used the silk milk for as my milk substitute for making my chocolate pudding. And there's the stats on that. And this is what the finished product looks like. Yes, I blended up my vegetable soup. So it is pureed. All of 
the pasta that was in there and the vegetables are thin like baby food. I don't wonder if this would be easier to just go out and buy baby food because I don't know it's already a proper consistency and you know baby food chances of them adding salt and sugar and stuff is probably non-existent I don't know what they do with baby food nowadays but from what I remember anyways it was a healthy option um, anyways this is my dinner for this evening it looks massive to me I don't know how I'm going to do this because I've only been having like this amount for every single meal so far like my soup and my oatmeal it's always been this amount and now I'm doubling up so we'll see how it goes and I will update you all later. All right, bye for now. Hi again, guys. I know it's dark right now because I'm actually sitting in the dark at the moment. Um, so I apologize in advance, but I am eating my supper for the first time um, on full fluids. So I'm gonna take a little taste test for you guys, just to show you how I feel about it and what I feel like it tastes like and whatnot if it's going down smooth. So here goes nothing. Mm -mm. It actually tastes better than the other soup that I had for lunch probably because there is salt added in this um, yeah I, I think I can handle this it's probably gonna take me about two hours to eat my dinner tonight because I do have like double the food this time around but um, I'm just gonna take my time and savor each bite put my spoon down after each bite and Hopefully it all agrees with me for the end of the night. Like for half of the portion of the can that I made myself, it's like 2.5 grams of sugar. So that's not bad. I, I really wanted tomato soup, but when I actually saw the amount of sugar that is in tomato soup, oh my gosh, no matter if it's low sodium or low fat, whatever, Every single one of them had a huge amount of sugar in them. And that really sucks because cream of tomato soup is like one of my favorites. So. Mm. Yeah, this is pretty good. It's It kind of tastes close to tomato soup. So I'm, I'm pleased with the flavor of this. It's probably the best tasting thing I've had all day. And again, I have my pudding for after this. I'm not going to bother showing you that on camera. Again, again, this is just my first day of eating on full fluid. So I just want to give you an idea of what I'm eating and how I'm managing on this very first day. I'm not going to document every single meal from here on in. Probably be starting when... I start on actual solids. That'll probably be the next update I do food-wise. So, again, thank you for joining me. And again, I'm sorry we're sitting in the dark here. But, yeah, I just really don't feel like sitting up at the table or my desk right now. So I'm, like, resting back on the couch. And I just don't have the lights on at the moment. It's just relaxing. I'm probably going to have a nap after this. I feel so exhausted. I did not sleep very well last night. So, yeah. Thank you again for watching. And I'll talk to you all again later. Alright, bye for now.